Mm, any more questions? Yeah. Regarding admission only. So, can I complete my introduction which I did? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. Uh, I said I scored uh, 36 mark in grade 2018. Right? Yeah. So, I want to thank you before because of that test series video. Oh. Because of that test series video, before I watched it before day, thank day, I converted that 36 mark into 76 mark. In test series? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you for acknowledging me. Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today we are going to have a very important discussion on how to analyze your test series. Before we begin, three things you need to know. Number one, you have to give test series. It is very important for you to find your weaknesses. It is very important for you to devise a strategy that you are going to ultimately apply on your real examination. You have to work on that. You have to constantly improve that. You have to practice and rehearse that so that you will be able to execute it properly on the day of the examination. You can get all the online test series are available. Sometimes offline test series are also available. For example, some examinations like engineering services pre. A lot of coaching institutes are offering offline examinations also. Or maybe your branch is very small and no good online or offline test series is available. In that case, just pick the previous year questions and give it just like you will be giving the actual examination. And once that, that is done, your test series is done. The second step is you need to analyze that test series very well only then you'll be able to find your weaknesses only then you'll be able to improve in the subsequent test series only then you'll be able to give your best performance on the actual examination which brings me to the third point that you need to know the proper methodology of how to analyze your test series and that's what this video is going to be focused on i made another video on this topic basically i've talked a lot of times on this topic but today i'm going to talk about in a very concise manner uh, one of my followers this follower of this channel talk 4712 have been applying this method for a long time and, and has found significant amount of improvement this guy has actually scored somewhere around 30 marks in gate 2019 but is a very tough guy and has been working hard and have been applying this again and again and has reached a marks of 62 in this one he has actually gone farther since then so this method is going to give you improvements because it is a very elementary method work on your weaknesses and you will find improvements so what you need to do is basically write the number of questions question number one through 65 in gate examination you write them down and then one by one decide what kind of question it is so basically every question can be a one out of these three types one you have attempted it correctly right so that is basically a tick and you'll just move forward okay now this type of question you do not need to give a second look i do not bother about the things that i'm good at i have to work on my weaknesses the second and third type are very interesting because it needs a little bit of experience so if you have solved all the previous year questions of your examination in that case you know whether a particular kind of question can actually appear in your examination or not okay because a lot of time unfortunately test series gives a lot of garbage questions not a lot like maybe five to ten percent of questions might not be focused towards that examination so you have to decide it at that moment right so after the examination when you're analyzing the second type is the questions that you did attempt but you made a mistake in so that is a cross kind of question and uh, you have to find it can be one out of two types one the answer might be given wrong okay this also happens in a lot of test series and it might be a garbage question also so a question which is not uh, that much uh, focused towards that examination it is just too lengthy or it is not appropriate for that examination that you'll have to decide then you just have to ignore those kind of questions and just move forward the another type it might be of the second type is that it was a legitimate question it can actually appear in your examination but you were not able to get marks in that now this is a very dangerous place to be at because you thought that you might get marks in that but you got zero marks or in the worst case scenario you got negative marks right so you need to look at it with a microscope and find out which topic it is from from number one which subject it is from then which topic it is from you'll understand in a moment why i'm telling you guys to do it the third kind is that questions you have not attempted right now these are unattempted questions it can again be of two types number one garbage questions and number two questions that are legitimate and can appear in your examination if it is a garbage question forget about it if it is a legitimate question 
then you need to take care of that so basically from the second type of legitimate question and the third type of legitimate questions i said legitimate too many times it's not the legitimate leader. now these kind of questions need your attempt attention how you have to find which subjects they are from you have to find which topics they are from after that what this guy has also done you have to make uh, how many questions you have made mistake from a particular subject so over here apti one industrial engineering four math six thermodynamics one and your rest you can read over here so the main point is that from production he has made five mistakes from mathematics he has made six mistakes and industrial engineering he has made four mistakes now one or two or three mistakes can be ignored that means they need less attention but if you're getting four five six mistakes from a particular subject that exactly means only one thing that that subject is weak now you might say that oh my i made silly mistake i forgot that formula i forgot that concept i can just revise it and give the test series again no but basically it means that you're weak in that and you are lacking confidence in that another type of questions uh, that are attempted wrong is the questions that you made silly mistakes in and there's also a pattern in that you'll find that you are making more silly mistakes in questions which are from topics that you're weak in okay so that is why i told you guys to give the exact number of questions that you made mistakes in or you were not able to attempt and attach it to the subject then you will understand this subject i'm weak in now then you need to work on that subject you need to focus more and more on that subject revise your short notes revise your micro notes solve some star mark questions from that topic and uh, that will basically give you a better more confidence and you will improve in that subject next time you'll find that definitely you have made less mistakes in that subject so over here we can see that he has made one mistake in aptitude one in thermodynamics and one in fluid mechanics now this can point in two directions number one possibility is that these are silly mistakes which can be improved with practice and you give more test series you'll get more practice and you will not be making such mistakes a lot of times you are attempting a test series then it might create panic situations in some some spots which can only be improved by giving yourself more and more experience of these test series or you can you have to look at that question and maybe there's a conceptual mistake so you have to go back and look at that concept and the whole area around it so that is why i told you guys to attach the subject and the topic as well so for example a particular question you have made mistake and only one mistake from a subject does not mean that you'll go and revise the full subject what you need to do is revise the topic okay so you are saving time so give 15 to 20 minutes of revising it go through your short notes micro notes and maybe solve some star mark question from that topic and you're good for the next step so let us talk about steps one by one number one three hours you have to give test series after that half an hour you'll be analyzing this method does not take a lot of time so once you have analyzed you have found out what topics you need to take care of the third thing you need to do right after the test series is one and a half hour to two hour you give yourself time to solve the questions that were legitimate but either you made a mistake in that or you could not attempt that so maybe during the examination you were not able to attempt it does not mean that you will not improve in that so give yourself five to ten minutes look at the question do not look at the solution and try to solve it on your own this is giving you the ability to solve new kind of questions okay that might appear in the examination that ability has to be developed that muscle muscle has to be trained okay so um, this is what you do so it will take somewhere around five hours for the full test series now the rest of the time you'll be working on your weaknesses that is what you have found through your test series analysis you work on that and uh, that will give you definitely improvement in the subsequent test series how to work on your weakness it is pretty obvious you have to go and revise your micro notes your short notes you can solve some star mark questions or in the worst case scenario you can go and revise your class notes that is the last stage if you have completely forgotten what concept it was then you can invest some time but make it quick you have to spend less time in this revision and all reading and all and you have to spend more time in practicing so definitely if a particular subject you are weak in then you can solve all the previous year questions gate previous year questions and es previous year questions only the star mark because we do not have sufficient time to solve all of them obviously but star marks you can solve star mark questions of a particular topic if you are weak in a particular topic so basically working on your weaknesses it is as simple as that so that's the method of test series analysis and uh, apply it you have to apply it at least like two three times to get used to it and this will definitely 
give you improvement this is probably the biggest reason why a lot of students are seeing same low marks again and again and finally are seeing the same low marks in their final examination also because you never worked on your weaknesses it is quite obvious that you are not working on your weakness how will you find improvement you can keep on improving what you're good at but that will not give you much result and this method honestly has given a lot of results students have applied it and they have found a lot of improvement in their marks in test series and finally their marks in their examination so utilize it this is like a very obvious method but you have to give it a direction towards competitive examination that is why i've discussed it in this video so i hope it was helpful if you have any more questions comment it down below and i'll definitely answer that and i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye